everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm here on site today for the first day, apparently, of black fly season. I wasn't necessarily expecting that. There's always a first day, apparently it's today. Uh, and I got here, and the black fly started kind of attacking me. Now, that was sort of a problem, because uh, I'm doing fairly meticulous work, laying out the first roof truss here uh, for this structure, and it's hard to kind of think and concentrate while you have things attacking your face, going into your eyes, nose, mouth, ears, and biting you. Uh, so I just went into the EDC bag that I carry with me all the time. EDC stands for Everyday Carry. And in there, I always keep a bug net for your head. Uh, it uh, kind of crunches down into something about that size, just really small on the bottom. Uh, it's been in there, you know, on several occasions when I haven't needed it, but it's always there if I happen to need it. And today, I'm really glad that I have it. A lot of people that get into prepping and preparedness, you know, right now we have the uh, coronavirus pandemic uh, occurring and everyone's like, oh, I want to be a prepper. I need to get lots of N95 masks or I need to get lots of toilet paper or whatever. But the idea of being uh, into preparedness is being prepared for the future, not the present. Uh, so this is something that I had that normally doesn't get any use whatsoever, but on days when you really need it, I can see a, a fly crawling, crawling on the lens. You can probably see that too. Uh, on days when you do need it, it's great to have it. I also, just by happenstance, happened to have a zap racket in the car because I was moving some things from the old uh, place to the new place uh, or to the temporary place. Uh, no batteries, though, but again, the EDC bag came to the rescue. I have AA batteries in there inside of a solar charger, Pop two AA batteries in there, and now I have the zap racket too. But realistically, just the head net would have been fine. The meticulous thing that I'm working on right here is the uh, trusses, the roof trusses for this structure. I want to get them all lay, uh, laid out really nice and precisely, just like I did for this structure. I'm laying out one master one and putting these little nail down boards as cleats to kind of uh, get everything snugged up. So ideally, when I make four copies of all these different pieces of uh, roof truss that I'm making, once I make those four copies, I snap them all into this jig hammer them all together, and they should be really, really close to identical to each other. I don't know whether I'm going to get that all done today, uh, but, uh, you know, certainly the next time I'm over here, I think I'll probably be able to get at least one of these put together and up, which is going to be a little bit of a challenge because the shoulder blades are all tightened up. I was doing a lot of shoveling yesterday. Uh, at some point, I wanted to get outside because the uh, landscape people are going to be coming uh, the day after tomorrow. And uh, they screwed up some stuff when they were here the first time. There's a daylight drain that's supposed to drain the perimeter of this uh, house. And it never sees daylight. It, you know, they buried it and it never went anywhere. And on top of that drain, there's supposed to be a water line for an outside hose. The idea of having it uh, trace the daylight drain is so that it could be right on top of something that I know slopes down. So it'd be very easy to drain the water line uh, before the winter, before there's any freezing. Uh, and they just kind of, you know, whatever, they just sort of half buried it somewhere and, you know, didn't actually do that. So I was trying to kind of shovel that stuff up so it could be ready for when the people come back, that, you know, I could have them installed properly. But um, I just, my body's really beat up and uh, my shoulders. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so I would probably use a couple of days before I have to start lifting these things into position because I'm still just solo. It's just me. This would be pretty easy with two people, with one person. I'm sure I'll figure it out. I did one person on those trusses up there, if you guys recall that. That was pretty crazy. This is going to be a lot easier than that, but uh, still, being injured, I wouldn't mind healing up a little before I try it. That's it. Thanks for watching.